Okay, hi everybody, this is Mr. Roche, and I'm here in um, 1, 2, 3D circuits. And what I'm going to do is we're going to make a, um, a kind of a traffic light thing that's going to work with Arduino, okay? And um, here's how we do it. Okay, what we're going to do is we're in 1, 2, 3D circuits, and we're going to make a new electronics lab. Okay, so it's popping up here. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Uh, what I would do is I'd name it right away. Okay, and I'd call it like the Arduino like traffic light. Like that. Okay, and then I would go back to it. You can do it by this way, by clicking on this green thing. And then the Arduino traffic light's there. So we're going to go in here. Pull it up and edit it. So hit the edit button. Okay, this is where it is. We got to add some components now. Um, I don't think we need like the really big um, circuit board for this. This is sort of or um, breadboard for this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a small breadboard. Put it over here, okay. And then what I want to do is I want to delete the other one because it's just easier to not not have it around. So I'm gonna go like that, highlight it so it's blue, and then hit the trash button, and it's gone. And that's good, okay. And then um, I can move this around, okay. And what I need to do too is get a um, bunch of stuff to run the run the traffic lights. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to get the um, Arduino, if I can find it. Um, it's in here someplace. Here it is. The Arduino R, uh, Uno uh, version R3, which is good. Okay, so I'm going to pull that up. Okay, I need one of those. Okay. I'm also going to need some components for this. So I'm going to need some lights and I'm going to need some um, resistors because you still need resistors in these sort of circuits. Okay, so here's the deal. So you're going to need like this and this. I think this will do it. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to run the lights from the digital pin. So they're either going to be on or off. Okay. And to make that easy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Arduino and rotate it. So it fits this way. And that's good. And then um, I guess what I want to do is I want to get the, get the breadboard sort of closer to it. And um, I kind of pull it in here like that. And then I want to sort of distribute the lights. Okay, what I'm hoping to do is make a kind of like a traffic light. Okay, so for traffic light, you need kind of like a red, a yellow, and a green light. Okay, that's what the normal traffic lights have, at least in the US. It might be different in other countries. I'm not sure. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this. this is going to be the red light. That's cool, it's red. This is going to be the yellow light. So I'm going to turn this to yellow. So see how it turns like a different color. And then this one's going to be the green light. Okay, so I got red light, yellow light, green light. Okay, that's good. Okay, then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run them from down here. Okay, I can run them from any one of these pins. All of these pins are um, digital I.O. pins. Okay, so they go input or output. There's a ground up here, which I can use to for ground. Okay, so I'm actually really excited about that. So maybe I'll do that first. I'll set this up to be grounded. So I'm going to run this on the ground rail. I'll turn this to black because it's it's a groundy rail. I think I got my ground set up. And then what I'm going to do is I'll probably run my resistors um, through the um, through the positive side of the uh, of the uh, of the of the LEDs. Okay. So on the negative side, I'm going to need a, oopie, oh, I screwed up, let me see, get rid of that. I'm going to need a, um, a connection to ground, okay, another connection to ground. They can share the same ground, this is okay. What's sort of interesting here is that they're all running the same, um, these are kind of like parallel circuits basically run through a computer, but they can share the same ground, which you, we've actually seen this before. So I'm just going to make these guys blank. black and that's good okay so then I got that going for me 
I got I need to make sort of these connections. So let me see where I can run this from. It seems like it's easy to run this maybe from seven, six, and five. Okay. One of the things that they tell you with Arduino stuff is that if you're doing a lot of um, like messaging and you use these like for like error checking and stuff like that, so you, you tend not to want to use these ports unless you're like really stuck. You can use them; they're fine. But but they also serve as these sort of text and like sending text and receiving text, transmit and receive. Um, and so like um, so these sort of sometimes you want to kind of keep as free as you can. But here, this is actually easy. So the red light's going to go on to um, the um, 7 pin, OK? The yellow light's going to go on to the 6 pin. And finally, the, um, the, uh, the green light's going to go on to um, the 5 pin. OK, so, so digital 5 is green. Digital six is yellow, so make it yellow so you can see it. And digital um, seven is red. Okay, so I got these these things going. Okay, and that's kind of the wiring setup. That's all you need. Okay, now if I try to run it, it's not going to do anything. Okay, it's going to kind of sit there. Except the one thing that's sort of cool is that um, when you run it, like the little power cable like gets connected. And when it doesn't, it gets pulled out. So that's sort of fun. <laughs> Um, but what it needs is it needs like programming. It's not like running right now. Okay. Another thing that's going on is that we need to know the voltage calculation here, right? So roughly, um, and you guys can do this um, here. I'll actually sort of do it. You need to just pull up a pull up a pull up a, um, a, 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 a calculator. Okay. But the but the calculation is V equals I R. The the V here is um, what's coming out of here is five volts. Okay, so it'd be five volts minus two, basically, for this. So you end up with three, right? And then it's going to be um, it's going to be divided by the um, the amount of current that you really like, and we like pretty much like point oh, um, like one nine, something like that. Okay, I'll let you do this calculation. I'm going to do it. I'm going to set my resistors. If you want to read my colors, you can do it. Um, but that's what I'm going to go for. Okay. Got some resistors. I might blow them. I'm not sure. Um, you guys can can do the do the thing and kind of figure that out yourself, or you can just read the um, the resistor color code key and figure that out yourself too. All right. Now to get this to really run, okay, I need to program this. This is the chip here. This is the clock. Um, this is transmit and receive stuff. Um, all sorts of good things on our Arduino. Um, but what we're gonna do is. Um, I'm going to go to this one thing here called Code Editor. I'm going to click it, okay? And look what you get. You get a whole little R, like Arduino program that you can you can work with, okay? Now what we have is we have like this. This is set up for one LED running on pin 13. It's like kind of like what we did in um, in class, okay? And um, what we have now is we have more LEDs. We have three of them, okay? So I'm going to go like this and make um, we we'll call it LED R, maybe. Okay, and we said that the red one is on pin. It's on pin seven. Okay, so I'm going to change this to seven. Okay, and then I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go like this, and like this, and I'm going to say RED yellow is going to be eight, and RED G LED G is going to be. Um, nine. Okay, so now I have three LEDs that, and they they have the right um, pin number for them as as it, as it corresponds to the Arduino. Okay, so so right now that looks pretty good. Um, let me see if I can kind of move this over so you can see. Okay. And you can pull this up a little bit so you can see like the three pins. So you got seven, eight, and nine. And that's seven. Oh, it's seven, six, and five. Seven, six, and five. Sorry. Okay, that's right. Okay, seven, six, and five. So that 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 makes that makes sense, right? You can see them with that. And that's why you have to sort of check this stuff. Okay, but once once you name them here, and this goes on like kind of before the setup. Notice there's a setup and a loop, right? These are these are variables that both setup and loop can see then. Okay, and that's a good thing. All right. So then in the setup part, we need to set up pins um, seven, six, and five for output. So I'm just going to go like this, 
And that's the thing. Once I do, once I write it this way and use variables, I don't have to like kind of worry about seven, six, and five anymore. So once I get that right, everything's good. So I'm gonna go like this. So this is gonna be seven, six, and five. Would be seven, six, and five. Okay. Whoa. Uh, uh oh. Seven, six, and green is going to get your output. So they're set to output, so they're not set for like switches or anything like that, right? So it looks pretty good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to write a loop for them. And this they have this one loop already. And what it does is it basically it flicks back and forth. Like if I did it with like red right now, um, I could just turn it. It'll, it'll work for one light. What it does is it turns one on and one off, okay? And if I wanted to test this out, I haven't gotten the whole thing set up, but I can just go like this and say upload and run. Okay, it says it's successfully compiled, and then you can see what it's doing over here. See, see how it's lighting? Okay, that's good. It's not blown up too, so my resistor seems okay, and um, and that's kind of good, right? Things are things are good. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to go red, yellow, green, yellow, red, yellow, green, yellow, because that's the way the traffic light works. So I'm gonna do um, something a little bit more complicated with it. Okay, so I'm gonna stop my simulation. I'm gonna write a little bit more code. Okay. One of the things we're going to do is we're going to turn them on and off all at the same time. So I'm going to write three statements here for digital write. Okay. And I'm going to turn the delay off longer. This is like a really long light, and I don't really like that. So I'll turn this to like maybe like 300. Okay. So I'm going to have a red, a yellow, and a green. Okay. So there's an LED R, an LED Y, and an LED G. And in this scenario, only one can be on at one time. So only one can be high, and the other ones have to be low. So I'm going to go like this and say low and low. Okay. And that's good, right? So um, I'm going to take out this part of the second loop. So now all, what it has is it'll just kind of, like if I run it now, the red one will just stay on all the time, right? But what I can do is I can copy this, okay? I can put this here. Okay, and I can put like a comment like for red. And then this one can be for yellow. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one be low and this one be high. Okay, and then it's going to do that. Okay, and then I can do the exact same thing for green. And I'm going to copy this. Paste it in here. Okay, I'm running out of time on my, my movie, so I'm gonna try to try to hurry up. Okay, so it's gonna go like this, and then this is gonna go low, low, high. Okay, and then I need one more for yellow again. So I'm just gonna copy this yellow. Okay, and I'm gonna Put it in here. So I've got four like little segments in this in this loop, and a loop is something that goes around and around and around. And um, and this is the basic setup of this thing. So um, I'm going to go yellow again. Okay. And they all have the same delay, so it should be okay. And I'm going to try it out. Okay. So you have you have a bunch of different things you can do with it. Okay. Um, and actually, when you get done with it here, you can actually download it um, onto your hard drive and just kind of dump it into an actual Arduino. This is the thing. So, so this is really good because we can actually get this to work in, in school too with the actual parts. And right now what we're going to do is we're going to upload it and run, okay? And it successfully compiled. It started the simulation and I'm just going to pull this down and see what happened. And lo and behold, you've got this sort of fast moving traffic thing. It goes red, yellow, green, sort of saucers back and forth between, between the things, okay? So there we go. We've used Ohm's Law again to help us out with these happy resistors, okay? Um, you guys can figure that out. You need to figure that out. So hopefully it won't blow up or anything. Um, I don't know if you can hit the reset button. I wonder what it does if you hit the reset button. It does. It does reset. That's actually really cool. Um, like you can see, it's on here. And like basically life is good. So you can stop the simulation, start it again, and all is well. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for you to do. When you get yours done, take a short video of it with a phone or whatever and show me what you got, show me your code, okay, so I can see that it looks like this, and, um, you know, good luck and happy programming, man, this is good, see you later.